So I have just done one of the most difficult things to do in my profession, uh, the art of professional mimicry, and that is to come in off of the street into my own home, you know, dressed like a lady rhino, and to not have someone, you know, chase me and fling poo at me. It's going to be a good day. You've got to get dirty with it, you know. You want to become Trisha Paytas. You want to be John McLean? You got to do what I did, you know, get on a train, go to the Scottish Highlands, rifle through his bins. You know, suspicious amount of diapers. Spend some time with an old tea towel that Shane Dawson's thrown out. Don't let it leave your side. Even if it's been used to wipe up like a black forest gatto. Is that definitively what's on the towel? Does it matter? If you want to parody the best in the industry, walk around your house, get out into the countryside, you know, start repeating the same shit over and over again. Burkaki. Burkaki? Burkaki. Get into your comfort zone. If something's weighing on your mind, you know, put your mind at ease. You try desperately to find the marinara. You remember having the marinara, and boom, there it is. Now you're in your space. Now you've aligned your chokris with that of your chosen YouTuber, you know, and then suddenly they take over. <laughs> Break into their homes, hack into their emails, their YouTubers, do they deserve privacy? Absolutely not. A lot of people think it's all about using a green screen, you know, but that really was Graveyard Girl's house, you know? Distracted her with a gadget and an iced tea. You know, let's just get this in the can. Don't do any made in Japan. Don't, you know, don't go out and buy darker foundation if you're a pasty white person. You'll be cancelled quicker than 666 Park Avenue. Who remembers that show? Fuck, wildly underrated. Whoopi Goldberg played a flock of birds. It's all about goodwill, you know, kindness. You've got to be kind to people. Did I paint, you know, dry red skin around my notes for the role of Shane Dawson? <laughs> yeah, I did do that. Do your stretches, read the script, read the richness of every line whilst doing your stretches. Dump it, dump it, dump. The costume, the makeup, it's all part of it. Working with animals and children, doing charity work. It all comes together. What are we talking about? When the director calls action, you don't have to start acting right away, you know? Especially when you've been doing Amelia Fart all morning and you're dead inside. And because there is no director, you can let off some steam. The magic happens between you and the little spot next to the lens when you break up the parody with a little Shakespeare. Hark, doth a raven! And then bang, you've turned into Christine Simply Nailogical. You know, become the change you want to see in the world, Mahatma Gandhi. Can't see how that's relevant. We're going to do a scene together now as Jenna Marbles. Uh, you can play the dogs. Start shouting, start wailing like a banshee. You never know, it, it might turn into magic. Rice pudding! Who's to say? Then just throw in something Jenna-like. Hey, get on my fucking level. Instant nomination. Try things, make mistakes. This is a job about teetering on the edge of really offending people. What is a YouTuber? Who are they? What are their motivations? What are they trying to do with their fame and influence? Are they trying to change the world? Hey guys! I did not go to drama school. I could not be asked. Has that hindered me? Probably. I want to share with you the secrets behind my most mediocre work. You know, adopting dialects. What? I didn't have any corn. Sinead O'Connor. I can't express myself. Spending invaluable time with the director. I remember this feeling so well, and many of you will feel it, when suddenly you're in control of it. I suddenly felt like I was this very incredibly powerful force, but I had the vocal ability, I had the intellectual ability for all that to settle. That moment when your technique is so deep within you that you have the freedom to invent, to improvise, to parody. That's when I realised, you know, I quit my day job to cross-dress for less, fanny around in the garden, offer absolutely nothing to the world. I am Olympia Avalanche and this, this is my masterclass. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Apparently, Masterclass already pulled my online courses. Turns out it wasn't real. Welcome to our newest patrons, Nick Tuxford, Joseph Spencer, and Kieran Thomas. Welcome, guys. If you'd like to join the family, visit patreon.com slash